Welcome to our daily hobbies. I'm Economicon, and today we're going to be playing for the game Oddly Pacific, where we're a guy that finds himself madly in love with a girl, but unfortunately, that girl seems to be madly in love with herself. You will be presented with a choice. Please note, your answer will extremely impact your gameplay. To experience the full game, you need to replay. Now, pick a number. I t 18 or 27, what do you want? You know what? I don't want... Oh, wait, they're both divisible. Never mind, we can't be a prime. You know what? The Spectra Elders. I'll be 27. Sometimes, I like to think of my brain like a little kid. It's best when it just shuts the hell up. Well, I mean, it doesn't shut up. It just thinks too fast for me to process things. I like everything best when it's moving too fast for me to remember it. Okay, wait, oh, me being the library at four. Why, why have you got an aubergine? Or, or whatever that food is. What are you doing in the library at four? You look down at your phone, seeing class is about to end, and that everyone else is already leaving. Okay, do you want to leave school now? Absolutely, we wish to leave. Why would we want to remain at school? Milk, we got it. Hello again, they seem to have milk. I'm not entirely sure I trust their milk. You check to make sure you still have a pack of cigs in your pocket and head over to the bathroom. You crank open the crappy screenless window and pull out your lighter. I don't know why I smoke. Maybe it's the way it's self-destructive without immediate repercussions. I sound like an edgy emo kid. You take a drag, loving the way it still makes your eyes water and the back of your throat sting. That's my reminder I'm not in too deep to have really messed myself over. You lean against the windowsill and blow the smoke out before panicking and almost dropping your cigarette out of the window at the sound of footsteps. Oh, uh, hey? Are you... you okay? Who the hell is this? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. I was just thinking about... something. Could I... do you want me to walk you back home? Oh, he's probably in love with me. As long as I keep him far enough away to not actually let him know what happens in my head. This should be fine. Uh, yeah, sure. By the way, my name's Jupiter. You start walking away because he is in no way going to take the lead in anything. Wait, are we not concerned about him? I mean, he seems really damaged. As you suspected, he follows after you. Why? I mean, what were you upset about? I looked upset. Does he, like, relate smoking to being sad or something? Because I know I don't look upset. I'm perfect at controlling my facial expressions. Well, here's my place. Thanks for walking me home. And before I go, could I get your name? Oh, uh, yeah, my name's Three. You lock the door behind you, finally having some time to yourself. This is what you need, Jupiter. Just a little moment to, like, collect yourself. I just have to decide what I want. You discard the clothes you wore to school, putting on a fresh shirt and shorts. You don't like stuff that's been outside to touch the clean stuff in your room. I just need a second to think. You lay down on your bed, grabbing your phone and putting on some music. Your eyes start to close. I'll figure stuff out in the morning. You hear a strange sound above you and feel a tugging on your hair. And then someone is shaking you by the shoulder. Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Oh, uh, yeah, it's me. You, you fell asleep? You pull yourself up. Your whole body is sore. Those school desks are really hard. You, uh, you have geometry next. It's, you probably know where it is. No, I actually don't know where my next class is, even though it's more than halfway through the school year. Like, who does he think he is? Actually, I've got a question. If we just met yesterday, why does he already know my schedule? 
Are you stalking me? Can you get those hearts out of your eyes? Thank you very much. I do know where it is. Thank you. You smile at him, noticing the way his face turns red. That makes you so happy. You don't like him. How you barely know him. But someone being in love with you is just amazing. You walk away, heading off to the class that you know the placement of. Hey, you're Jupiter, right? Holy hell. Now he's someone I wouldn't mind talking to. I'm Ollie. I was told you're good at math. Well, you definitely have the wrong Jupiter then. Well, I mean, you were described as super cute, so aside from math, you're, you're a match. You giggle a little. Why would we giggle a little at that? That was so cheesy. No, I'm taking away our giggle privileges. I like this guy. Judging you, Jupiter. Smooth, smooth. It really wasn't. The two of you walked to class together. And that concludes my list of why you should let me over after school. Because you want to come to my house? And because you want to? That's an amazing list. So, is that a yes, or... Do you want to bring Ollie to your house after school? No, we are not bringing Ollie, because I am adamant he is not smooth. No. Uh, not today, sorry. Kind of forgot I have family stuff today. Maybe, like, some other time? Oh, okay, sure. I don't think he was happy with that answer. You speed walked to the bathrooms, needing a moment to think. I just met this guy. I don't think I'm ready to, like, bring him into my room. See, that's what I was saying. I was getting massive John Doe vibes. We just met him in the store and he's like, oh, can I come home with you? I was like, no, Creeper Creeper cannot do that. What if he does something scummy and then I have to live with the memory of letting him into my room? You fumble a bit, pulling a pack of cigs out of your pocket and lighting one. Maybe I'll go over to his place instead. Then he'll have to live with the memories. You lean against the wall, exhaling deeply. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. You almost drop everything you're holding when the door opens. Oh, it's just him. Uh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, it's just... Do you, uh, you want to talk about it? You know what? Damn it. I'm going to see him, like, what, three more times in my life? Well, there's this guy, right? And I think I like him. And I think he likes me. But I, like, I don't know if I only think of him because he likes me. He's assuming we're talking about him. This ends badly. Why would you do this, Jupiter? His eyes light up for a moment. Almost like a cartoon light bulb just went off in his head. Oh, yeah, uh, that sucks. I'm sorry. Well, thanks for listening to me. You two stand there in silence for a moment. Before he leaves. Wait. Wait, so did he just walk into the bathroom? Because I'm here? Because I don't think he went to the toilet. I'm concerned. Damn, I wish I had given me some more advice. I think I should make the first move. I mean, there's no way he wouldn't go out with me. Even if he isn't crushing on me, who would pass up a chance to date someone like me? And even if he doesn't, it's not like I'm going to be heartbroken. I hardly know him. You lay down, falling asleep. So wait, are we the girl that's in love with herself? Because I'm starting to get that vibe. You wake up to your phone beeping. Oh, it's Ollie. When did he get a number? Hey, Jupiter. Guess what happened? I got a Gia. She's so cool and low-key hot. Three gave me some advice on how to talk to her. Oh, Three, you schemey little guy. Oh, damn. He... I was... I was too late. You set your phone down and think, How the hell could this have happened so fast? But, like, I don't know if I only think I like him because he likes me. His eyes light up for a moment. Almost like a cartoon light bulb just went off in his head. Oh my god. 
It was that little creep, wasn't it? I bet he's been setting this up for the past week. He got the idea when I talked to him. This is why I shouldn't talk to people about stuff like this. Because they'll do stuff like this. What was he even trying to do? Does he just hate me or something? Oh, hi, uh, hello, Jupiter, right? Oh, uh, what's up? You, uh, you look angry. Well, yeah, I'm damn angry. I talked to you about Ollie, and the next thing he has a secret admirer, and then he gets with some girl he's talked to like twice. And I ask him about it, and he says that you gave him some advice that helped him. He looks at you with a face that clearly shows he's not listening to a single word you're saying. And you expect me not to be annoyed? I didn't. I promise I didn't do any of that. He asked me. I gave him some cheesy advice like follow your heart or like something like that. You know what? Damn you and your scummy excuses. Why do you hate me enough to ruin the one good thing I could have had? Why? Later that month, you heard something disturbing on the news. Senior in high school found dead. No note left. No note is given. Keep watch. Oh, wait. Damn. Wait! Wait! Did my reactions just cause him to hang himself? That was three, right? Oh, damn. Oops. Okay, okay, let's go see if we can get the other endings. I'll replay the same thing, so we'll still go down Route 27. What happens if we agree for Ollie to come out to our house? Will we end up dating him then? Okay, so we're back. And here's Ollie. Yep, do you know what? Yes, Ollie, come around to our house. Is he? Yes. How can I turn down someone with such amazing reasons? He throws his arms around you, smiling into your shoulder. Yes! I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. So this turn up ahead leads to my place? Wow, you have such a nice house. It kind of looks like you, if you were a house. Are you saying I'm pink and frilly? Don't know how I feel about this. Nah, my house doesn't have big boobs. True, true. I'm not even going to comment, let's continue. <laughs> the two of you go inside, making your way up to your room. Wow, your room is really pretty. Thanks, I spend all my time here, so, you know, it's going to look nice. The night went on with you two talking about nothing in particular, simply just enjoying each other's company. Sometimes in life, you'll find someone who will finally quiet the buzzing in your head. They might not stick around forever, but they'll be here for a while. What the hell? Or they'll be gone the second you find them. Okay, that's three, right? Wait. Wait, is that implying three killed Ollie because he got jealous over us? Quite possibly. Okay, so the only other choice we can change to get the third ending, right? So we don't want to leave school yet, so we say we want to stick around. You grab your stuff from your locker and head up to the library. Hey, are you by any chance heading to the library? Oh, like, yeah, I am. Why? Well, I need to know where it is. Gotta study, you know. Wait, we're halfway through the school year and you still don't know the library is. No wonder you need to study. Sort of failing math. That does not surprise me. I'm unsurprised. Oh my god, me too. Isn't it like unreasonably hard? It really is. Everyone else seems to understand it, but I'm just so confused. So happy I finally found someone else who doesn't understand. By the way, I'm Ollie. I'm Jupiter. If you want, we can, like, study together? A few days later. So Jupiter, 
That's why you should let me come over after school. His list of reasons has just been him talking about how pretty you are. But you are very much okay with that. Yes, that's because we're a narcissist. You smile, and he grabs your waist, pulling you closer. Okay, fine, Ollie, if you insist. As someone who's always hated showing real affection in public, you are surprisingly enjoying this. I guess I can just enjoy my little rom-com moment. Oh my god, that's so cheesy. Please kill me. I love you, Jupiter. I love you too. One week later. Caps lock should be a switch on, like the side of your computer. I'm so tired of accidentally turning it on. Did I just have a moment with the dev there? I relate to you, dev. Caps lock can be annoying. <laughs> you grab your phone, opening it to see a text from one of your friends. Turn on the news. That's a little cryptic. I'm a bit worried. You switch on the news channel. Senior in high school found dead, no note left. Oh, damn. I think that kid went to my school. Okay, I got another bad ending, apparently. Wait, what was, what was that? Oh, it gives you a close up face very briefly. And that's a lot of blood. Wait, so you're saying... With this root, I can even get. He dies after I shout at him. He dies from jealousy, but I never meet him. Or he kills my boyfriend. Are that the three endings I can get for this run? Brutal. I think he's a bit obsessed with us. Okay, so we're, let's play the other route now, because I'm guessing this is going to be from three's perspective, right? Okay, so now we must go with 18. It's confusing, really. I don't like any of the people here. They all seem to like each other. How do people find other people to be friends with? Well, most people find it weird that I keep a knife on me. Well, that already answers the question of a did this guy kill people? Yeah, he stabbed our boyfriend. That's why they don't approach me. But I'm not introverted. I could make a bunch of friends, but there's no reason for me to. Because everyone here sucks. You check your watch, seeing class ended four minutes ago. Everyone else is getting up. Like, I've been here for almost a full year and still haven't found anyone who I like, even a little bit. As you were walking out, you saw someone. You were never a believer in love at first sight, but you sure as hell are now. What was it? Was it the absent neck? Is the absent neck that got to us? Oh, that is beautiful. Holy hell. Now she is the one I'd like to spend time with. Do you want to walk up to her? Ooh, now that's interesting. That was never in any of the other runs, right? Okay, so yeah, let's walk up to her and see what happens. You start to approach her, fiddling with your fingers. You gather all the confidence in your body, every last drop of it. Oh, uh, hey. Damn. You turn back around, a slight slump in your shoulders. You fall back against your bed, your sweaty shirt sticking to your back as your sheathed knife pressing against your hip. The knife was a gift for your ninth birthday, and it's pretty beat up. Gives a kid a knife. They're nine. They are not responsible for anything. I can't even be. They shouldn't even be trusted to pick their own dessert. Well, actually, the dessert they can choose. It's main course they can't choose. They will pick dessert. I am questioning your parenting methods. The way your shirt stuck to your back so uncomfortably gave you a sense of satisfaction. The same kind of satisfaction wearing the same clothes for three days straight gives you. Oh, that's kind of nasty. The same kind of satisfaction sleeping with the lights on gives you. The same kind of satisfaction wearing your awful thread anklets for your fourth grade best friend made you. Every day gives you. You close your eyes, letting yourself mount into your mattress. Like a knife. Thanks, it was a gift. 
I look at her, the way her big red eyes just beg me to cut her open and crawl inside. Wait, so are we sure he killed the boyfriend and not her? I mean, if he wants to crawl inside her skin... Can I? Yes, of course you can! The skin makes a soft, satisfying sound as I cut through it deep. It feels wrong to do this, like I'm not supposed to be making a mess of her like this. Her blood coats my hands as I peel her flesh away, making room for me. I want to stay inside her chest until she starts to rot around me. We have some weird obsessions. What the hell is going on in my subconscious? You pull yourself up, slightly disturbed by your dream. You're not a psycho, right? These are just normal weird dreams everyone gets. Yeah, it's fine. You grab your phone and check the time. What a great time to wake up. Oh, 4.27. Delightful. Oh, your nails are not looking too good, my friend. You put your phone down and fall back onto your bed. Well, I was too much of a coward to actually talk to her yesterday. Maybe I should just wait a little while before talking to her. I'll just go ahead and learn more about her before I confess. Find out some more stuff about her. And thus begins a stalker vibe. You drift off to sleep, this time having no dreams that worry you. Hey, wake up. You have the pleasure of waking up to someone poking you in the arm. Oh, no. You look over to see who was poking you. Oh, damn. Dude, you gotta stop falling asleep. Oh, her voice is so pretty when she whispers. Oh, uh, thanks for waking me up. She flashes you a thumbs up instead of saying anything and turns her focus away from you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I actually just talked to her and didn't mess anything up. Yes! You close your eyes and smile. Interacting with her came so easy. It's like a dream. Damn! You rub your eyes and drag your tired body off the bed and start your walk to school. It's warm outside. You look to the other side of the road to see. Your first reaction is to pinch yourself, just to make sure you're not dreaming. Good, this is real. I should have known that was a dream before. She doesn't even sit next to me. And I've never fallen asleep in class before. Was that a lucid dream? What if this right now is a lucid dream? I should probably... You look over at her. I should probably follow her. You keep walking by before turning around once you are out of her sight. She opens the bathroom door and goes inside. And you hear the sound of a window opening? I think this is a valid reason to go inside. You open the door slowly and peek inside. Oh, she smokes. Unexpected character flaw? Kinda hot though. You lean in further and the door creaks loudly. Damn! You recoil back to the hallway, walking away. Oh damn, that was close. Thank God she didn't see me. That would not have been a good first introduction. You grab your sketchbook and open it up. New note. She smokes. Oh wow, we are so upset. We are obsessed. You go ahead and doodle a little drawing of her lighting a cigarette. She's just so cute. I can't even deal with it. You drift off, this day seeming to have slipped by. You're completely lost in your thoughts. How would I confess to her? Wait, do I actually have to type this? Oh, I do! Okay, how, how is the best to accept this? Um... Well, she's a narcissist, we've discovered this. So what if we literally just say, no, 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 we've got to capitalise it, right? Oh, there we go. I'm obsessed with you. With you. 
exclamation mark, we're gonna get an emphasis in there, and then see, 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 she's obsessed with herself, I'm obsessed with her, we'll get along great, we have so much in common. Yeah, I think saying something like, I'm obsessed with you, would be a good way. <laughs> don't do this at home, kids, just don't. <laughs> she's gonna be head over heels for me once I confess to her. Yeah. She's gonna be so flattered that I'm spending so much time thinking about her. You lean back in your seat, trying hard to remember what class she has next. You are just gonna wait in the hallway next to the door and watch her go. I just want to see what kind of people she likes to spend time with. See what kind of people she finds attractive. I'll change to fit those people. Hell, I'll become a girl if she likes them. You lean against the wall, sinking down to the floor, just sitting there. I've gotten multiple emails about how I have to attend classes. So has my mother. I don't care, neither does she. You let your head fall into your arms and drift off to sleep. You've stayed up late the past few nights, planning how you would confess to her, drawing her and working on your photo collection. You could spend hours looking through the pictures you have of her on your phone. Wait. Wait. Haven't we only known her for like two days? I mean, it, we, we just noticed her for the first time, right? And yet we already have so many pictures we can look at them for hours. Well, that escalated quickly. You wake up to the sound of people walking. Looking up, you see her walking down the hallway. Oh, she's so pretty. And someone else next to her. So, Jupiter, that's why you should let me come over after school. Holy hell, her name's Jupiter? It's taken me so long to figure it out without asking someone. You watch as the boy puts his arm around her waist as she giggles. Okay, fine, Ollie, if you insist. She leans over and pecks him on the cheek. Oh, damn, you have officially missed your chance. It's fine. They're probably just friends. Friends who kiss is normal. It's so normal. I'm absolutely screwed if they're together. So absolutely, utterly screwed. Your obsession with Jupiter had been taking over your life for months. You simply don't know how you would function without knowing she is always available. I love you, Jupiter. I love you too. Damn. You know, if she can't be with me, then no one can be with me. If she's not going to love me, then I don't care. I just don't. I don't want to give people the satisfaction of leaving a note, and I really don't want Jupiter to feel bad. I won't take my shoes off or say goodbye and give my plant to someone who will water it when I'm gone. I want people to be surprised I did it like this. I got the bad end. I'm starting to doubt there's even a good end, to be honest. If it, every choice I make seems to leave and one of us dying. You know what? That actually kind of, um, threw me the whole, if you can't be with me, no one's going to be with me kind of thing. That's an original take. I mean, I was going to say, usually they kill the partner, right? Okay. Well, let's go change some choices. Okay, so first choice is whether we wanted to walk up to her or not. But if we walk up to her, Ollie does as well, so how about we just say no? We're not gonna bother. I should start to get to know her before I talk to her. She's the only one here I can stand, so I should be careful not to mess it up. You get up and walk over to the lockers, stealing glances at her the whole time. You pull out your stupid diary that the stupid counsellor thought might be Helpful for you to deal with your emotions. Write something. Um, what do we want to write? Oh, I know what I'm going to write. Yes, this is the only thing we're going to write. I want to... I want to wear her skin. I mean, that's an emotion, right? It's certainly an obsession. We dream about it. You wrote down... I want to wear her skin. And we have to say it that creepily, okay? It has to be done. In your diary. This sucks. 
I'm not mentally messed up. I don't need to write about my life in a cute little book like some teenage girl. You decide this is not worth your time and you walk into the bathroom, hoping you'll find something interesting to do to kill time. Holy damn! It's her! Oh dear, she looks a little depressed. Oh, uh, hey, are you... you okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I was just thinking about something. You decide now is when you take your chance. Good eye. Do you want me to walk you back home? Uh, yeah, sure. Score! By the way, my name's Jupiter. She starts walking away. You decide this is a good reason to leave your stuff at school. God, I can't believe I get to walk her home. So... So... Your fingers knit together. You pay attention to each turn you take. Why, I mean, what were you upset about? I looked upset. Oh, I think I messed it up. Well, here's my place. Thanks for walking me home. And before I go, could I get your name? She likes me enough to ask for my name. Oh, uh, yeah, my name's Three. Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter! Her name feels nice, heavy on your tongue. Jupiter's such an important name, fitting for someone like her. She's just perfect. I wish she were here next to me, feeling her warmth and her presence. She's just perfect. You lay down, closing your eyes, the leather sheath of your knife pressing hard against your thigh. I think I've got a shot with her. Okay, your turn. Oh god, please tell me you understand. And it's so simple. She, or well, me. The grammar here is a little confusing, but she or me, we like you. F like for real. Wait, you like me? Yes, of course I like you. I just want to protect you. I want to make you feel safe. You're just a little boy. I don't understand why you think so lowly of yourself. You're not the best, but you're definitely not the worst. I'm not the worst? Ah, she looks so cute asleep. And her hair is just so pretty. You reach your hand out and gently play with a bit of her hair. It's a little bit brittle from constant hair drying, but so soft. You lean down and smell her hair. Wait, aren't we in class? Aren't we currently surrounded by kids? Her shampoo smells like vanilla and strawberry candy. What if I just... You grab your knife, gently cutting off a lock of her hair. You know, the bad thing is, I can't even judge you. Because I did that action in Project Cat. I chose to cut someone's hair. I mean, it was a little bit less creepy because they weren't sleeping. And I did not use a knife, at least. It cuts quickly, with how sharp your knife is. You shove your knife back into its sheath and her hair into your pocket. Should I wake her up now? We're close enough for me to wake her up, right? It wouldn't be weird, right? You gently place your hand on her hands, feeling the warmth of her skin beneath yours. You move your hand over to her shoulder, your fingertips dragging over the skin and cloth between. You slowly shake her, until her eyes open. Oh, hey, it's you. Your face goes red. I'm a you? Oh, uh, yeah, it is me. You, you fell asleep. You, you had geometry next. It's, you probably know where it is. I do know where it is, thank you. She smiles sweetly at you. Your heart feels like it's going to melt and simply pour out of your chest. I really wish I could just put him in a glass case and stare at her. I just want to have all, all to myself. You turn around, about to leave, when you see Jupiter and some other kid walk towards her classroom. 
they walk into the classroom together laughing and talking now who the hell does this guy think he is i should be in his place walking so close to jupiter our shoulders touch telling stupid jokes maybe putting my hand around her waist just to brag that she's mine you leave your stuff in your locker for the second time this week and walk after them this is way more important than an absence in the long term. Okay, where do you want to wait for Jupiter? By her... Have we ever waited by her locker in the original timeline? Let's try her locker. You lean against the lockers, outlining hers and with your pointer finger. And you wait. And you wait. And you think about Jupiter. The way her hands would feel so warm against yours. How she can somehow manages to make basic blue braces look so cute. The way you just want to put her in a glass box and stare at her forever. The way her hair would feel so soft against your neck when she falls asleep on your shoulder. You pull yourself out of your daydreams and you reach your hand in your bag, pulling out your diary. If I have to write it every day, I might as well do it now. Write something. I have part of her now. That's why we shall write. Uh, uh. Look, my entire goal is that whoever reads this diary gets incredibly concerned about us. I mean, first we say we want to wear her skin, and now we have part of her. That's good. There we go. You wrote down, I have part of her now in your diary. I wonder if anyone's going to read the diary and see what we've been. We are going to get sent to a shrink. You hear quick footsteps. You pull your head up and see Jupiter walking quickly to the bathroom, her hands in tight fists. Damn, is she okay? You know what? She's crying, so I'm going to go with no. You get up, leaving your bag sitting there and walk after her. You pause outside the bathrooms for a second, thinking, do you really want to go in there and check on her? The quiet sobbing coming from behind the door answers your question for you. Okay, three, you're not going to mess it up. You're just going to ask her if she's okay and let her talk about it with you and maybe hug her. You take a deep breath and push open the door. Oh, damn. Uh, are you good? Okay? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm okay. Just got something on my mind. Do you, uh, you want to talk about it? Well, there's this guy, right? And I think I like him. And I think he likes me. But like, I don't know if I only think I like him because he likes me. I know exactly what I should do. Oh yeah, that, uh, that sucks. Well, thanks for listening to me. You two stood there in silence for a moment before you take this as a cue to leave. You slide into your desk chair, turning on your computer. So wait, was, um, was Jupiter exactly right what happened? We writ a secret in my note, put it in Ollie's locker to make him think someone else liked. Oh, we did. We absolutely did do that. Ollie! I love you so much. Please date me, Zoe. Wow. Well, we really did play matchmaker to get her away from Jupiter, huh? Jupiter shall be mine. Or Jupiter shall be no one's. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, hello, Jupiter. Uh, what's up? You, uh, you look angry. Well, yeah, I'm mad. I talked to you about Ollie, and the next thing he has a secret admirer, and then he gets with some girl he's talked to like twice, and I ask him about it, and he says that you gave him some advice that helped him, and you expect me to not be annoyed? She's so hot when she's mad. I didn't, I promise I didn't do any of that. He asked me, I gave him some cheesy advice like follow your heart or something like that. You know what? Screw you. 
and your scummy excuses. Why do you hate me enough to ruin the one good thing I could have? Why? I think I messed up. No, I definitely messed up. Why'd I think that would work? Why'd I think it was a good idea? Wait, wait, did I get my own heart out or something? Okay, so there's one last ending for us to get, which I'm assuming is the ending when we kill Ollie. Everything is death with this game. Okay, so once this time, we wait for her outside the classroom. You lean against the wall, slowly dragging your back down until you're sitting on the floor. Your hair is a static mess. I'm sure the second she sees me here, she's gonna leave that boy for me. I mean, it's very clear who likes her most here. Yeah, herself most likely. You stick your hand in your pocket, playing with the strands of her hair, waiting for the time to pass. And you wait. And you wait. As you're waiting, you pull out your diary. She's probably going to take an hour, so I might as well get this done. Not like I have stuff I actually want to write down. Okay, what are we going to write? Um, what do we want to write this time? I watched her while she was sleeping. There we go. I refuse to put anything other than something extremely creepy into this diary. You wrote down, I watched her while she was sleeping in your diary. Even if this does end up helping me, it's still so stupid. I'm not a teenage girl or something. You lay your head on your knees, only to pull up when you hear footsteps. It's Jupiter and that boy walking right in front of you, paying no notice to you. What the actual hell? Why did she just walk past me? If she was just sitting there, I'd go ask her if she was okay. It's probably that kid she's been spending so much time with. Your hands naturally travel to your right thigh, grabbing the handle of your knife. Oh, have I just cut my hands? That end. Oh, so we didn't kill Ollie. We just saw them together and... Wait, is that our hands bleeding? Oh, yeah, there's blood on our hands. Unless we did kill him? I didn't know if we killed him or not. But considering how much death is in the game, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I hope you enjoyed that playthrough of Oddly Specific. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda love the fact there is no good ending to this game. It just feels so perfect. But I would also love for someone to read that diary. As always, if you want to check out the game, I'll leave the link in the description below. If you've enjoyed your time here, then please want to like this video and subscribe to this channel. But other than that, I hope you have a spooky day and I'll catch you next time, guys.